welcome to another of Ally Paranormal's investigation files. A look into another local Michigan haunting. This case involves a mother and daughter who believe that someone or something haunts their home. during nighttime there's always a vibe and a kind of a cold presence in the kitchen. There's a few nights where all the cats just stare in here for like a good hour, hour, hour and a half. And this is the dining room. The malls most of the time, the stereo usually makes knocks at night. It never knocks whenever it's being played, but when it's not being played, it always knocks. And on that side of the wall, there's very few times where you'll see a shadow just brush against the wall. Once in a while, it was okay. Once in a while, it 
seem a little aggressive. My mom had been in that house for two years. She did not want to sleep in there. She told me one time that when she did have her bed in there, she was trying to sleep and felt like something tugged at her leg. Like twice. One just kind of tugged, you know, kind of with a blanket. The other time she said, hold me that. It just felt like something just grabbed her leg and pulled. All I know is I will not go in my room. Since the first time I moved in, my bed was nicely made and everything, and I had my first time to sleep in the first week, and something pulled my blanket and tugged on my leg. I got on there as fast as I can. And I never been back in there. Now we just throw stuff in there. the tour of the house and a little bit of the history and uh, right in the middle when we were talking we heard somebody walking around upstairs when we were in the basement and uh, there was no one else in the house but us. Yes, I heard footsteps again when we were down there getting the tour of the house. Um, we thought somebody was coming in and walking around. We thought it was one of the other family members or um, one of the other team members, and I'm pretty sure we called up asking for if somebody was up there. No one was there. Just sounded like someone was walking. Conversation going on up there too between two, two women and two or women and a couple right. or something. Yeah, me and Tom heard uh, people talking a couple times. We heard voices coming from upstairs when we were in the basement. Jim, Cut I heard a voice. Jim, Cut I heard cold. a voice. Martha and I went 
into the house um, for our first EVP session. Um, we started in the back bedroom. Um, just sitting on the bed, asking questions like normal. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I just I couldn't catch my breath. I was having trouble breathing. Um, so we finished up in there, and we went out into the living room, sat on the couch, um, and it just got worse. I I kept taking deep breaths, trying to catch my breath. She was literally sitting there going, <sighs> like she just couldn't catch her breath. And it was just weird because I I I was in there too, and I but I wasn't feeling the same thing she was feeling. So. sitting out there before I just couldn't handle it anymore and I had to get out of the house. I couldn't breathe. Outside of that little room in the basement, uh, I had already walked through there a couple times, so there wasn't any spider webs as I walked through there. During setup and during the tour, there was nothing there, and I had been down there earlier in the day, so there was no, there weren't any spider webs in front of that door. But as we were standing there, I kept fe feeling like it was brushing against my arm. And I kept having to brush it off. Okay, we were down in the basement getting a tour of the house. Um, walking down the stairs. Go to the right and there's a room there. Just walking around, I kept feeling light brushing on my arm. Almost like a spider web. But I would go and brush it away and I wouldn't feel anything there. Um, looking around, you can tell, yeah, there's spider webs up, up in the rafters and stuff like that underneath the floor but nothing hanging down it was bright down there and couldn't see anything you couldn't feel anything I didn't feel anything anywhere else just on my arm you know if you're walking through there you would feel it on your face and everywhere else and it was just light brushing on my arm um, by that one room down there cold in there and it's never cold in there I was uh couldn't help but notice the hallway between Stephanie's room and my mom's room yeah I did see a shadow I saw something like it was just staring right back at me Eventually the cold went away and we moved on into my mother's room. I went in there by myself with an EVP recorder. So that's Stephanie and Investigator Martin 
uh, outside of the house. Now, they were headed towards the dining room. And I just was in there all by myself. And I started asking some of my own questions. I heard something. just caught something. I heard all. I heard what sounded like a voice. Uh, seen all kinds of things in the house. It could possibly turn a non-believer into a believer in there. There's just too much activity if you stay in there long enough to question it. You, you know, you might not see everything on one night or anything at all one night, but if you stay in there long enough you're going to start thinking something's going on. And that's how my mother was. With the present evidence, the team believes that there may be something there. Further investigating is warranted. Can you roll that truck? Roll that truck. For more information on this or any other case, to review evidence, or to request a free investigation, visit Ally Paranormal.